Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is Stratus by Michal Kaczowek and Roman Slomka. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe, check the little bell icon so you know when I do and don't go live. I might not be able to this week, so important to know that, isn't it? You don't want to be turning up, uh, and I go live at random times as well. So uh, little bell icon, subscribe, like, share with your friends verbally if you want, tell one person about this, and this makes a great difference to me. And check out onlinemagic.co, that's the big thing, that's the big membership site that's been going for 10 years, 800 plus videos, live sessions every week, most weeks, this week might not happen as well, I'm trying to make it happen, but uh, all that, and they're uploaded, tell us, like 114, 130 of them now or something, uh, just making numbers up now, <laughs> but it's about that. Anyway, this is going to be a strange one because usually I try and try out the tricks even if I can't get footage and I haven't tried this out yet. But let's be honest, it's something inside a playing card. So I have, by the way, tried to put it together and that's what we're going to talk about. I think I know enough now to review it. If you don't think that's true, don't matter. Watch the other reviews if you want as well and you'll get a good idea. But there's no doubt this is a killer effect. This is a sign bill or even a coin or any objects that's pretty flat will end up inside a playing card. Now, that's great, isn't it? Super, brilliant, we all like that. Is it gonna be signed? No, it's not, the card isn't, but the object is, so that's cool, isn't it? So you think of so many, mm, so many. So that sounded like I was gonna say something with N or M then, didn't it? I was, I was gonna say myriad, and then I panicked and thought, is that the right word? Um, but I think it is. But there's so many uh, presentations for this, and they don't go through all of them. Uh, there's a couple of performances in the a tutorial and uh, clips from the full performances that have been shown online. Have a look at the trailers. You'll be able to find them. Google is your friend and all that's not really. Um, but do that. So that's great. We know the effect is good. I don't have to go out and do it to know that's going to get killer reactions. It's really unusual. It's really odd. It would, you know, a bill signed item in anything is brilliant. And I do loads of that stuff myself. Tick. Is it easy to do? Kind of. The trick's pretty easy to do because you get a gimmick that's really well made, really clever, really sturdy, and uh, it's going to do a lot of that work for you. So that's easy. Tick. Is it, you know, are you going to be able to do it as a complete beginner? No, probably not. You've got to be able to handle a deck of cards. You've got to do certain things um, and feel comfortable with cards, I would say. There's not really much in the way of slights, but again, if you sort of mix slights with this, you'll be able to do all manner of things. Tick. And, and, I th and you could do a, no, I'm not going to go through, you think, think for yourself, I was going to patronise you then and say the obvious things you could do with it. So that's a big tick. Um, angles, all that kind of stuff, that's all right. We're sounding really good, aren't we? And it is really good, but there's one thing that's going to really do your head in, or potentially really do your head in, and that is the prep. So the bit of arts and crafts in putting the... Um, you're not putting the gimmick together, the gimmick is made for you, but you can choose whether you're going to use red or black bikes. It's not very forgiving, you don't get any spares, so if you get something wrong, you're going to have to, you know, hopefully they will sell spares and refills and things like that. But it's pretty easy, but I'm just saying, if you're like me and you're really clumsy, just be careful. Take time over it, it takes like a minute, but just make sure you follow along. But it's the next bit. Now, I've looked at the... Uh, comments on the Vanishing Ink site and people have they've talked openly about this so I'm going to talk about it you do have to be able to split cards you have to be able to split a card in half I don't mean split it in half that way I mean split it in half that way so um, you have like a, a you know a bit of a, a flimsy you've peeled the thin bit of the back off or the thin front off and again I won't go into that now if you google it you'll find loads of stuff and it is a thing now you can buy um, uh, Owen O'Hare, is it Owen or you? Oh, I can't remember the, but yeah, O'Hare jigs are brilliant. They'll do that for you. And there is a way of doing it yourself. Now, I learned to do this because I had a trade show years ago and I did a Dave Forrest trick. I think it was called Colour Burn, I think. And you had to split a card to prepare a gimmick for that. And it was brilliant. And I remember sitting there for ages, not being able to do it. And then I could do it, made the gimmick, and that was totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind putting the work in if I'm going to perform the trick. And I think a lot of people will want to perform this. It's different, it's unique, and it's strong. But I've just gone through four or five or six, one, three, four, six cards, 
Um, I'm not going to do any more because <laughs> I love you, um, Valish Link and, and Michal. And uh, I haven't met Roman, but I'm sure you're very nice. But I ain't going to do that because I don't need to to know it's a strong trick. If I want to put this in a show, um, a little bit like the other day I put Kieran Johnson's to the max, the, the um, a card in ice trick, uh, remaxed isolation. It takes a lot of prep, but that's all right because I'm doing it in a show and it's a big part of my show. And the same with this. Or if you want to go out and really blow people away, it's worth learning that skill and there was whole dvds on this there was that kind of art of card splitting thing so you know a, a trick you know you're performing miracles here and it shouldn't be something you can bang together quickly but you need to know whether you've got to or not you're not going to take this if you've never done it and go out and do it the other thing is that cards that are really high quality are easier to split i found that now, arguably because i could be wrong but that's what i found when i was doing it when i got the really decent ones they split easier the ones i've got from costco aren't and i'm not again going to go out and start buying cards because again we don't have to we know it's a good trick so there's the thing if you're happy to sit down and learn a skill that takes practice which is card splitting you're going to be fine and this will last you. You're going to have to split a card for every time you perform this. One more thing, you are going to have to go and buy something else. Um, uh, uh, a, a thing, can I say this? No, I don't know, I'm not going to risk it. But you're going to have to buy some, what, what do you call it? Some stationary item um, that again, very easy to get hold of, but it's an extra bit of an expense and in the UK it's less easy to get hold of. But you'll be able to get it off Amazon, you can, but the other day it was pretty pricey. Um, most magicians will have that. It's a solvent. <laughs> I've just totally given it away and I've done that, does it? Blimey. Um, but it's a specific one, which a magician, most magicians will have anyway, like I said, but you're gonna have to have some of that. So there's a few extras here. There's extra time, there's extra thing you gotta buy, but it's a wonderful piece of kit. It really is, and a great trick. So make your mind up. I think that's all I can say on the matter. Uh, any questions, do ask below. Next time I go live, it might be this Thursday, but I'm, I'm going to a gig in the evening, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to make it, but it, keep an eye out for, for whether it is or not, and I will answer them down here if I can as well. So that's Stratus, uh, Vanishnink, Michal Kaczelek, and Roman, oh gosh. I've started it now, I'm like, Slonka. I can't remember that. Silliness. Uh, thank you so much for sending it to me. Thank you so much for watching. I just can't get my words out today, so I'm going now. Take care. Bye-bye.